Hello everyone, welcome back to an Italian in my kitchen. I am Erica and today we're going to keep going with our Christmas cookie series. So today we are making stamped shortbread cookies <laughs> because shortbread is basically the best cookie ever. Like, what is your favorite cookie? Tell me in the comment section. But for me, the best cookie is a shortbread cookie. Any kind of shortbread cookie, send it this way send it this way because they're amazing so today we're making buttery melt in your mouth shortbread cookies so they're stamped because we are going to do exactly that stamp them with our very cute you go very cute see christmas stamps so they're going to look exactly like this we are going to do that but also we are going to cut out a few because also cut out cookies are so cute, so amazing. We have very festive cookie cutters and very festive stamps. So I say, let's just go bake. So the first thing that we're going to do is take a medium bowl and in this bowl we're going to sift together one cup plus three quarter cups of all-purpose flour and a pinch of salt and one quarter cup of cornstarch and just sift it. And then we're going to set this aside. Take a large bowl. I have a mixing bowl here because I'm going to use my stand up mixer but if you want you can also use a hand mixer add to this bowl one cup of butter that's been softened so at room temperature plus half a cup of powdered sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla sorry half a teaspoon of vanilla <laughs> we don't need that much vanilla and we're going to cream this all together Then add the sifted flour mixture a little bit at a time and combine it together. And when it's all almost completely combined, we're just going to transfer it on top of a flat surface and knead it until we have a smooth dough. Okay, we're done with our dough and now we can wrap it in plastic wrap and refrigerate it for about 30 minutes. Just so it chills a little bit. Flour our flat surface again, just lightly. And we're going to roll our dough on top of our floured surface to a one quarter inch thickness. Actually, I'm just gonna divide it into two parts because one part I want to make into cutout cookies and the other part I want to make into stamped cookies. We're just gonna divide it like that. I have my gingerman bread. Gingerman? Gingerbread man? Yes. I have my gingerbread man here. I'm just going to flour him, flour him, flour the stamp lightly. Press it into our dough and cut it with our round cookie cutter. And this is what you get. And then we're just going to transfer our cookie on top of our baking sheet. If you're having issues uh, getting your cookies off the floured surface then just use a knife or if you have one of these offset spatulas and just put it on top of your baking pot baking sheet not baking powder baking sheet the rest of your dough that you're not using just put it back in the fridge so it's, it chills a little bit more while well, we're making these ones let's make some more cookies
And now our cookies are just going to go in the fridge to chill for about 15 minutes while the oven is preheating at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And same goes for our cutout cookies. We're going to do the exact same thing with our cutout cookies. The only difference is that we're cutting them with a cookie cutter instead of using a stamp. And just like the stamped cookies, we're going to have a baking sheet covered with parchment paper and we're going to place our cookies on top of it. Okay, so our cookies are ready to go in the oven, so they're uh, going to bake for about 15 to 20 minutes, and then we can taste test them. Okay, and there you go, we have both our cookies now oops, huh, out of the oven, and we're just going to wait until they cool down, and then we can try them. They smell amazing, they look really good, we're gonna try them soon. Okay, so we have our stamped shortbread cookies and our cutout cookies all ready. And we're just going to try it. Which one should I try? I am going to try... I'm going to try a star. Came up perfect. I love this star so much. Look at this. It looks so nice. And you can really tell that it's nice and big because it has this golden brown bottom. Buon appetito! Shortbread cookies are the best. That's all I can say. Nothing else. You need to make these. ASAP. They're so good. They're so good. I love shortbread cookies. And these are so easy to make. So Christmassy. You can make them for any occasion, really. If you're doing the stamped cookies and the cutout cookies. You just need cookie cutters that go with, you know, the season. Or the festivity that you're going for that you're making cookies for or even just like round cookies round shortbread cookies anyways I digress these cookies are amazing it's it's really it's for real melt in your mouth cookie when you when I say melt in your mouth it actually happens you need to try them that's all I need to say you need to try these I will just leave you with that and if you make them, let me know in the comment section below what you think because I think you should try them. And they should be part of your cookie platter this holiday season. And I hope you enjoy them as much as we will enjoy them because my family goes crazy for these. And as always, you'll find all the ingredients, measurements, links in the description box below. Give us a like if you like this video and you like Christmas cookies. And if, uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. There's a reason I call my cup shortbread. That's why. Oh, so good. So good.